Welcome back to yet another rainy day here on Animal Crossing New Horizons. I'm Dear Darling, let's hope you see what's going on on a little island of Horn Hollow today. Can't believe it rained twice in a row. Can you imagine it? What are the chances? Probably like one in a million or something like that, right? <laughs> it's not how it works. Not how it works at all. Apparently in Animal Crossing, um, New Horizons at least has like pre-programmed um, weather patterns or something, which you can figure out if you... But someone made, like, made a calculator of it if you like see the weather at like every hour on like the first day or two or something. It'll... It can accurately predict the rest of a weather forecast for the rest of the week, which is um, far better than weather forecasts we have currently right now. But to be fair, the weather forecasts kind of right now aren't pre-programmed that we know of. Not to go on a weird philosophical <laughs> tangent there. But anyway, hello there, everyone. Right now, it's 5 it's 5.07 p.m. on Wednesday, May 5th, 2021. Isn't really new to speak up today. Something horoscope and we'll go about our business. Wonderful, Isabel. That we will. And by that we will, I mean we're going to farm like mom missions like talk about random stuff what i mean what, what, what else are you what else were you expecting some revolutionary new thing the mayday up <laughs> my voice what's up dear i was all psyched up to send you a letter so i got a pen and paper sat down and right away forgot what i was going to write you about <sighs> i'll write again if i remember so hang tight till then okay it'll come to me mira uh we know this one is a fake a fake love a fake statue <laughs> i don't know oh hello raymond yeah, hashtag great new I've decided to liquidate a few personal items and I'm coming to you first that means you get first dibs on my astro dress I'm listening all right now we're talking let's see how about a low price of 2,500 bells that's extraordinarily expensive but we'll take it buongiorno another sale in the books for Raymond you you actually wait outside my door in the rain for that are you like a salesperson a door-to-door -door salesperson you are crazy Raymond um does that make you crazy by uh who sings that Nas Barkley or something uh I, I don't know where we're gonna put these statues but I guess I'll just put them opposite each other for now <laughs> apparently we didn't plant flowers yesterday but this one if you didn't know is a fake low battery well I guess we'll change these joy coins now before um they ruin the episode entirely although we'll see probably doing it this early on is a bit of a a faux pas an animal crossing switch faux pas sorry having to reach over <laughs> reach over you I'm talking to you as if you're a physical person sitting on my desk, which is actually that's like the weirdest thought possible. Let, let's move past that thought and um, back to Animal Crossing. Back to our reality we live in. Um, well, a, a fake reality. You, you, you know what I meant, maybe. <laughs> I don't even know what I meant. But yeah, we'll be going about our business. I forgot how crazy the Joy-Con drift is on these Joy-Cons, which is something would worry me a bit more if I wasn't too concerned about it. <laughs> which is that's such a stupid frame thing to say of course of course that's how it works um but like i don't play any like precision based games when i need these precisions exact movements with my joy con so it's okay if it drifts a little bit you know sometimes not all who wander are lost and that rings doubly true for joy cons i'm trying to think what flower to even put here a cosmos then the da, 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 cosmos uh we're start starting to run out of space I don't know if we want to fill all the blank spaces up with black flowers. That seems a little excessive in my mind, but also um, the castle in my mind is quite expensive. excessive. Is it? Hold on. We should repla replace this cosmos with a tulip. Castle in my mind. No, movie in my mind. That's what I was thinking of for Miss Saigon, which is, yes, it's a musical I've seen. It was on a secondary school trip in a culture club that I used to attend to. Obviously, I don't attend anymore because uh, I'm not in secondary school anymore, but um, it was a pretty fun time. I'm trying to think where to put these tulips. Kiss me, choo-choo, choo-choo, choo tulip. Um, yeah, we'll plop it down there. Yeah, Miss Saigon was a pretty good one. Oh, hello, Flick. So you are visitor for today. Tonight I will be Miss Saigon. I'm not going to complete the rest of that because now I think about it, those lyrics are not appropriate <laughs> for an Animal Crossing video. Um... But no, go, go look it up yourself if you're of the appropriate age, and if you're not, you didn't hear it from me. Um, okay, what are, what are we doing? We're just farming like, our missions. We need to make sure we go back and catch, um, not catch, we need to um, talk to Flick at some point. And give him the stuff, the good stuff that he wants. You, you got what I need. I've been out today, uh, not really much. Played some games, actually I played a lot. I didn't, I didn't program today yet because I, I was just too lazy. Um, I, I should, to be honest. Um, 
it's because I ended up playing a lot more Genshin Impact than I ex expected. It's because, if you don't know, um, I'm gonna try and, uh, how to phrase this. Okay, in Genshin there's like these dungeons you can do where you have to beat it in a certain amount of time to try and get the best rewards possible. And they've updated it recently. And this new like layout of enemies and combinations of buffs and debuffs is so unbelievably annoyingly difficult. But I, I, I tried for quite a while this morning, not that long actually, from like half an hour or so, which is a bit longer than I usually play up for, and I was just like, this is just impossible. <laughs> for me, right now. Maybe not in the future, but you know. Um, in the face of adversity is where the truest, the brightest diamonds shine. Which I don't think is an actual phrase, but it sounds kind of nice, doesn't it? <laughs> I love me some random idioms. And sometimes, you know, you find I don't you don't always have an idiom at hand, but that makes sense. So what do you do? Just make one up, you know? What's the harm? No one's gonna be like, oh no, that wasn't a legitimate idiom. Oh no. As long as as long as people can understand the meaning, that's the important part. So you might say, what if people don't understand the meaning? In which case you need to get better at making idioms, I guess. Um Not to say like it's a particularly easy thing to do. But I don't know, we we've had our whole spiel about idioms before. Love them, can't get enough of them. I want to protect it, I want to tell everyone about it, I want to do whatever, I can't remember what the like, Google survey form meme is, I don't know. And behind the memes, you know there's some apparently meme on TikTok where people just go sheesh, and when you hear someone go sheesh, you go sheesh, yourself. I do not understand it, to be frank. <laughs> I'm sure it has some sort of meaning, some origin, some, well I mean that's what these things tend to do, we don't need to talk to people so we're just going to ignore you. Um, <laughs> sorry Bruce. It's strange how things pick up and catch on like that. Like, why, why do people go to even find out about memes? Like, this sort of thing. I don't know. Like, obviously, TikTok in this case. You just have to browse TikTok and you see it on the top and you're like, oh. And the front page or whatever the front page equivalent of TikTok is. And say, you know what? It's going to make out a meme. And it's like, okay, I guess. That's just how memes, that's how they're born. They're forged in the fires of the internet. And from it, return stronger than before. I know what else happened recently. Oh, do you know um, um the guy who made Popper a uh, Popper Potter Puppet Powers? Uh, it's like Neil Sikagera or something like that. Um, also known as the person who made Ultimate Showdown, I think, and probably some other things. He, he's done a lot of like other old internet popular things, and now he's like a screenwriter or screenplay person on somewhere. I don't know. Um. Well, he didn't personally, but someone he knew apparently remastered all of his old Potter Puppet Pal videos that him and his old team of four made, and then um, uh, to 4K, and he's uploaded them recently, which was a, an insane trip to see that, like, um, <laughs> to see that again, basically. Like, a hu one, a huge nostalgia trip, but two, also be like, I completely forgot this existed. If you haven't seen Mysterious Ticking Noise, go, go do yourself a, a service of going to see it. Because it's quite funny. I mean, regardless of your views on, you know, I know J.K. Rowling, quite conscient, not conscientious, um, contentious, that's the word. <laughs> Definitely not conscientious, I suppose. Um, when I had to talk about that, who cares, basically. <laughs> go, go to Twitter if you want to talk about that sort of thing. But, um, Potter Papa Pals is just amusing, you know. And death to the artist, as they say. If you don't know what that means, it's not literally like, let's kill the artist, that's... I'm not inciting violence, it, it means like once um, the artist has create, created that art, they are no longer a part of it or no, and no longer have influence on it. It's its own thing now. At least that's the sort of uh, principles I abide by. Or idea, uh, sorry, what's the idea? Like philosophy, I guess? I abide by. But anyway, Potter Papa Pass. I'll give you my mini rendition here of a mysterious talk, you know, tick noise. It starts off with Snape and he goes, hmm, what's a source of this infernal ticking noise? And he goes, and he goes, it's kind of catchy. And he goes, Snape, Snape, Cerberus, Snape. And he repeats that. And then as he goes, Snape, Snape, Cerberus, Snape. Dumbledore comes in, going, Dumbledore. <laughs> and at some point, Ron, Ron Weasley comes in, hello, Lee, going, Ron, Ron, Ron Weasley. And then at some part, Hermione goes, Hermione, 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 Miney, Miney, or something like that. And Harry Potter comes in at some point going, ooh, Harry Potter, Harry Potter, I'm Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah, ooh, something like that. <laughs> um, <laughs> I probably sound like a lunatic if you've never seen that before. Um, but I don't know, go see it. Because 
uh, it was quite a popular thing back in when I was in school, back in primary school, believe it or not, like year five, I think. Has it been 10 years? It might have been 10 years since it's been released. Oh, more than 10 years. 10 years would bring, bring us only to secondary school. Do I need to buy anything here? Chop wood, chop down thing, sell stuff. Okay. Can do. Don't need to buy anything yet. Um, yeah, it was like a popular thing back in... I was in year 5 or 6, I think. So I would have been... 10? So that's like... 13, 14 years ago. No, 12, 13 years ago. That sounds about right. Which is insane to think about, for one. Um, I mean, I suppose that's just a byproduct of getting older as things also get older. <laughs> which is... Shouldn't be surprising, but every time it happens, I'm just like, what? That's insane. <laughs> But yeah, it was so popular that um, me and my friends, we were going to make, or I say we were going to, or wanted to make our own like version of that Potter of Papa Pals Mysterious Ticking Noise song, except for with our own plushies. And I remember my friend had like this big snake creature and he was going to go snake, snake, and I can't remember, like slivering snake. I can't remember which toy I was going to use and who it was going to be. I, I, I'm trying to think. <laughs> But, but we all had like a, a plushy toy we were going to use and we're going to recreate it. We never did because of course, you know, that's a project and projects are effort uh, when you're about eight. <laughs> sorry, not eight, ten. Of course, <laughs> if I did it now, well, actually even back then, I, I think I made random videos when I was younger. I don't really remember all too well, to be honest. Uh, we need to catch a snail, I think. Or at least we should definitely catch these for the Nookmar mission at the bare minimum. Um... Yeah, I, I don't know why I didn't. I probably had some sort of perfectionism where I was like, oh, I don't have a perfect animal. Soft cuddly toys to use to recreate this. I've got to have a syllabus match room, really. You, you know, you're like 10. You just just doing it and creating it in the first place is the miraculous part, isn't it? <laughs> it's not like when you're 10, you've got like, oh, I'm going to be like, um... <laughs> I was going to think of director, you know, when I could think of as Michael Bay, who's not exactly who I had in mind. Uh, I don't know. Some famous director and uh, then from that you're gonna create like an absolute masterpiece no it's, you know you, you, you're trying to like have some self-awareness i suppose 10 year old straw man i've constructed in my mind um you shouldn't have these high expectations of course unless you're some perfection shot have we really made a snail one no okay we'll, we'll do a snail um i guess i'll take this one and sell it as well we do we need to grab anything else from here doesn't i don't think so it's also raining, so I guess we could try and catch a cedar camp. We haven't had, had to do that for ages, because we do need to need to eventually get three of them. We've got one spare, two spare maybe, I can't remember. So we could do a little bit of... Uh, actually, let's wait until we get a fishing rod. Um, Sorry, a fishing... Watch uh, Look my mission before we do that. But yeah, I mean, like, when you're 10, you're just like... Why not, j just make it, you know? If you if you're also well, if you're any age and you're just like oh I want to try making this video but it's not going to be any good just just do it just do it you know have fun obviously the first things you make are going to be terrible then or maybe not necessarily terrible but not going to be great and like very few people can sort of just pick up any new hobby and be like oh look I'm perfect at it so just just have fun with it you know get into the groove of doing this groove into doing things and then you know learn a little bit about it and then improve next time. So anyway, <laughs> when, I, when I was 10 we made like those sort of videos. I don't know why we never made up Pots Papa Pals ones. I guess it was because the concept of it, we were meant to do it with a group of five of us and we were meant to like sing it together, but it never really happened because you know, when you're that young it's quite hard to invite five people around. Oh, we have a fishing one, a fishing mission. Five five of your friends around and let alone make a video like that. Um, because if you don't know <laughs> how it normally goes, it's like after school, it's like, oh man, do you want to come to my, to my house today? And you go ask your friends, oh, can XYZ come around, please, please, please? And they're like, oh, wait, fine. Or we can't be like, no, you've got a dentist appointment, no, you can't. Something along those lines, and then. Are you moving away? No. <laughs> no. It can't be. You can't go. Please, Vivian, you've asked to move so many times. What will it take to make you stay? Apparently me just going like, no, you can't leave. Um, <laughs> no, what's I saying? Yeah, I don't know why we never made that video. Anyway, Potter Puppet Pals was... Uh, but, but it's old, ten-year-old homemade videos. Definitely a topic for another time. Um, oh yeah, it makes it sound suspicious. It's, it's nothing, it was just like I made videos of like my plushies and stories and reenactments of things. Um, no, I'm, I was going to say, Potter Puppet Pals had... 
really like large effect on in our school specifically about what was popular and that sort of thing because it was very popular mysterious ticking noise not gonna lie everyone knew it everyone could probably recite it by heart maybe might be exaggerating maybe it was just me <laughs> but i remember uh, with pots and puppet pals especially there was like this um old like 2d uh flash game application i suppose which you could use to make your own version of pots and puppet pals um videos or stills or still images i remember i remember i used to like look at youtube tutorials and how to do it and how to do things like that i remember the very specific thing you had to do you had to remove ron's head to the side and you had to remove hermione's hair to the side otherwise they'll be in the frame <laughs> and, and then you can create whatever did i create much with it i don't remember to be perfectly honest possibly oh yeah it's raining it's gonna be really annoying to catch bugs because the only bugs which really come out are um, like um snails um anyway sounds good for them part of other pals they had other videos, I'm sure, of which I can't remember much of them. I'm, I'm thinking, I'm racking my brain, I'm racking my brain. I can't really remember. The only things I can really remember is that there used to be, um, what's the word, like, fan music videos, I guess? AMV, like, sort of things, except for, well, not AMV, guys, it's PPPMV. AMV being, like, um, anime music video, I guess? Animated music video? I know, like, I oh, know FMV, that's what I'm thinking, fan, fan mate. F fan made music video? I don't know. Well, basically, someone would take like a popular song and then take like clips from the show and like slice it together with like special video effects or whatever over the top to make it um oh an insect a little fan video about a certain media property they like. Ninety nine percent of the time it's anime. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> that's what most of them are. If you're like on YouTube, but I used to look at quite a few of them on um. Pots of Puppet Pals, or maybe I didn't look at a few of them, maybe they're just the ones that are stuck in my memory. And there's one of them I remember, which is about, it was put to the song, I don't even know what song this is, but it was like, the song goes, Moscow, Moscow, throw your glasses at the wall, da 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 <laughs> hey. <laughs> and, I don't know, I just remember the throw your glasses at the wall part, I didn't realise it was referring to, like, um, a drinking glass, because... In that little video, it has Harry Potter throwing his head against the wall, you know, to throw his, you know, like, spectacles, glasses against the wall. And I was like, oh, that's what it means. I don't know why that's in the song. But now, but now I get it. Not now I get it. I, I got it a bit later, I think. Maybe my sister explained it to me. I don't remember. Is she a fountain? Sure do know how to make that. There's definitely another one. I was, oh, it was rock stars. It was Nickelback, I remember. You know, the, hey, hey, I want to be a rock star. <laughs> Someone made um, their own Potter Puppet Pals. Fan made music video. To that. Oh, we need to check the uh, next time. No, I forgot about that. Um, to that sort of thing. I mean, I think. I remember. <laughs> I guess this is something to do with childhood innocence. If, if you don't know, in, in that song. Sorry, cover your ears if you're, I don't know, sub 13. I mean, technically 18 years old. But we, we talk about the Mile High Club in that song. In at some point in that song, you know, obviously I was like eight or whatever, so I didn't really comprehend what a Mile High Club actually was. So <laughs> in my mind, it was just like a frequent flyers club, you know, if that makes sense, right? Your Mile High, you just got a KK Love song. How um, oddly appropriate in some weird way. You join that Mile High Club and you're on like a frequent flyer, you're like a gold premium member of whatever airline service you use. Oh, good old innocent times. <laughs> I feel like I feel like I only know that the Nickelback Rockstar song is because of that music video and I know a lot of the lyrics there because your fruit was standing in line to clubs I'll never get in it's like the bottom of a ninth and I'm never gonna win I also did not understand what that meant when I was younger because I hadn't I didn't really know what how baseball worked apart from you know hit ball go round plates home run <laughs> but now I do you know it's, it's like enlightening now I feel like a veil has been lifted over my eyes I probably understand exactly all these childhood references which i didn't understand before and you know actually I, I did understand them a bit later when i was a bit older i just hadn't thought about them again since and it was you know i'm like reliving that revelation all over again and it's well actually it's not really anything to be honest it's just it is full stop um but yeah there's a rockstars one but it was definitely another one i feel like rockstars one is the one that definitely stuck in my mind the most I think it might have been one to Ra Ra Rasputin. Why there's two of them about Russian-related songs, I suppose. Songs about Russia 
related things. I, I have no idea why it was such a popular target for Potter Papa Pals, but maybe it was because it's a catchy, high tempo, sort of meme like song. Fitting of a silly slapstick style of Potter Papa Pals. There's definitely like other videos that he's done about Potter Papa Pals, which I've watched, but I, I, don't, I just cannot remember them at all. And it's, it's weird to think how um, popular they were, I suppose. I mean, maybe it's, you might not even know about them. If, if this might be the first you've heard of them, and you know, you'll be like, what are you talking about? Maybe it's before your time, I don't know. Who's who's to say? Uh, okay, so we need to catch two insects and five fish. That is easily done. Do, do we have a customising mission? We do. We should probably customise our I think shovel and net, I think. Makes more sense. Because we haven't customised our net for ages. We customised our fishing rod yesterday. Or at least somewhat recently. So, um, and shovel, of course, we dug up a lot of stuff. Let's go red. Why not? Red like roses fills m my heart and brings me to the place I rest. I can't remember the lyrics. Um, anyway. <laughs> so it was a bit of a weird tangent about Potter Papa Pals, I guess. I'm going to say tangent. We're still on it. It's not really a tangent. It's kind of like the straight line we're going on. Keep, keep going. Full steam ahead. Don't, don't. Stop. Don't stop, don't stop the beat, because I can't, I can't, can't control my feet. Something, 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 something. Come on, everybody, and move your feet. I'm, I'm, I'm trying. Okay. Potter Puppet Pass. What other videos? I wonder if I search them now, will they still be online? I'm doing it. Open up YouTube. Ignore this black bass. Okay, I'm going to think. Potter Puppet Pals MV Moscow Moscow. Is that what it sounds called? Trouble at Hogwarts. Oh, I remember this Trouble at Hogwarts one. They had get like, they bring out like AK forty sevens or something and shoot people. Oh, and um, never was a potato. I remember that. In one of these different um, videos. Harry Potter puppet powers Trouble at Hogwarts is not one I wanted. Potter puppet powers music video. I don't know. Is that one I want? Someone recreated Harry Potter puppet powers with kitten remix. I don't even know what this means. Music. Vidi Wo is how I wrote, wrote that. Random songs. Can't reach your heart. Saw Cinderella in a party dress. That's a very weird edit of Hermione, but I'm not gonna lie. Time of your life, no. I can't click on these, obviously, right now, but eBay. I, I feel like that's one I've also seen. The Weird Al Yank Yankronic. I don't know how you say his name, to be honest. <laughs> um, parody song of I Want It That Way. I bought it on eBay. Tell me why I need another pet rock. Tell me why I need an alpha long clock. Tell me why. I don't remember why I remember that. Witch Doctor. Oh, Witch Doctor. Yeah, this was one I used to see. The Alvin and Ch Chipmunks. I don't. It's not an Alvin and Chipmunk song, but I know it because of Alvin and Chipmunks. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, tong, wada, wada, bing, bang. <laughs> So, no, no, no. Which, what happened to Alvin and Chipmunks? Do we have another vid uh, not video movie coming out? That seems like one of those sort of um, movie series where they probably like we're, we're trying to revitalize it every like five years or so. I'm trying to see. What, what is this Moscow song? Casey Perry, Hot in Your Cold. I'm not sure if I really remember that. I, I, I'm going to go on a nostalgia trip after this and watch these. Moscow, Moscow, throw your glasses at the wall. It's a song called Moscow. It's like Genghis Khan, but it's spelled weirdly. Okay, Potter Puppet Pals, Moscow. Let's see if it's still a thing. Moscow, incorrect translation. It's st it's still here. <laughs> okay, I need to go look about later. Okay, minimize that for now. We're in an Animal Crossing video, you know. Concentrate. You you got to concentrate on talking non-stop for half an hour, and you know you're doing a pretty good job of it so far. It's apparently been 24 minutes. Who knew? Hello, random balloon. <laughs> Haven't been doing so well at um, farming these Nookmar mission points. I'm not gonna lie, been too distracted. I don't know. If you've never seen them, probably don't go and look them up because uh, you'll probably watch them and be like, huh? What? Why did Alan tell me to go watch this? Um, it, it's, I guess it's not that interesting. It's more like nostalgia fuel <laughs> for me. But <laughs> Maybe if you want to watch it and feel like you've been transported back into year 2007 or whatever. That's, that's what you should do. But if you don't want to do that, um, probably don't, I guess. Didn't, didn't really have much of a follow-up to that. 
But I do know what we need to do is catch up like one or two more insects and a couple more fish. What one fish, one insect each, and we'll pick up seashells as we go. Cause she sells seashells by the seashore. And we'll see if a cedar camp comes our way. Do we have it? We have inventory space. Uh, I don't think we'll do a deep sea diving one, or maybe we will. I don't know. But yeah, Potter Puppet Pals. Such an interesting concept, which you know someone just came up with once and was just like, you know what? Let's execute upon this. Let's let's just do it. Clearly, ten-year-old me had a lot to learn from video making capabilities. Seeing as I only started making video like <laughs> when I'm when I was twenty-two. I don't know when when did I start? That sounds about right. Actually, that's not true. If you didn't know when I was much younger, when I was like ten or something, I, I also made YouTube videos. <laughs> it was about Mary Party minigame walkthroughs. You'll never find them again. And amusingly enough, I swore in them. <laughs> I think I told to to this story before, but I, I swore in them. And then I remember one of my comments was like, "You sound awfully young to be swearing," and it, I was. <laughs> But it was so terrible. Recording on some very rubbish camcorder I had back at home. And um, just pointed directly at my the TV screen. <laughs> um, yeah. How far we've come, hey? To actually being able to hold a reasonable conversation in Animal Crossing nowadays. Oh, come on. Just get in there, pick them up, walk outside and release. Nothing to it. I believe you and you. I believe you. And you make it. Oh, sounds so very easy, but sweetheart, uh, uh, vile, no. The bugs, Vivian. <laughs> what do you think they're gonna do? Worst case, maybe you'll feel them crawling around in your hand. Yuck, repulsive, appalling. No, isn't there some other way to get these six-legged freeloaders out of my house? <laughs> Not unless you want to cover your stuff in bug guts. I object, Amira. I cannot accept that there is no other way. Han, surely you faced this before. Enlighten us. How do you cope with insects invading your home? Yikes, I just move out. You roommates, woo! I just take them outside. Um, which one should we go with? Yikes, I just move out. You just move out? Cut yourself loose? Oh my darling, your real estate agent must adore you. <laughs> but who would knowingly buy a house that's pre-infested with bugs? Sweetheart, disgusting. I guess someone must be buying them. Maybe there's folks out there who think bugs are a feature. Yuck, they can go right on ahead. I can barely tolerate one roommate. I cannot fathom having thousands. <laughs> we've definitely had that conversation before. I don't think we've selected that option before. Um, yeah, can you imagine just like, oh, I'm done with this house. I'm going to go buy a new one. Rich people problems. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I guess, I guess I'm kind of done with Potter Papa Pass. This is like, not like done conceptually, but I, I guess done concept conceptually. Kind of done with it like 10 years ago, but... I don't really have much more else to add to it, to be honest. It's just, that's just kind of it. But there isn't really much more to add to it. It just sort of exist, existed. It was a weird sort of trip for a time, I suppose. That's just kind of it. Do we have 10 seashells? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes. We need to catch one more insect. So we are going to release the source mackerel. As we find one more insect, catch a vincel. Catch, release. Just like rowing. Have I ever talked about rowing before? I, I should definitely do that in one of these videos. And make Ned squirm in his seat because he actually rows <laughs> a lot more than I do. I rowed for about a term. Or no, two terms maybe in uni. And then I stopped. Because it's not my sort of sport, to be honest. Fencing archery, much more up my alley. Anyway, um, pots, pop, 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 Sorry, stay on topic. <laughs> Who's your favourite Potter Puppet Pals character? I'm not saying Harry Potter character. That's completely different, you know? We're talking about the parody. Which is probably how they managed to stay up this entire time as well, just parodies of them, right? Because you would have thought copyright laws would sort of like try and clamp down on that sort of thing. Not necessarily um, the publisher or the author themselves, but isn't that just kind of, like kind of how it goes? You've got to clamp down on these copyrights, otherwise you might lose them. If they become something which is just like synonymous with public usage, like, you know, the word jacuzzi and Velcro. <laughs> do you remember that old advert ages ago? Or like the, the company behind Velcro, they tried to do like a campaign to call it Hook and Loop because Velcro obviously is um their trademark thing and they're going to lose a trademark if they didn't. Um, yeah, sure. Have formal papers and a microscope. For a microscope. Why, why not? Live your life, Mira. Live your life. <laughs> this is not Velcro. This is the Hook and Loop. Something like that. You might have no idea what I'm talking about, but... No, go look it up. Go look, go look up a lot of things. I'm just... 
I hope that wasn't a fever dream I just had like had once and it's an actual thing. I I'm trying to find a singular insect, but of course they do not exist. I never spawning limits on them. Insects. But Oh you know what? We should catch a wasp. Let's just catch a wasp. <gasps> no I didn't mean to do that. Okay, let's get um, rid of some more of these insects, I suppose. Ah, I probably don't release them straight into the river. Uh, we need two spaces, one for the wasp and one for the, the nest. Yeah, just, if you ever need to catch insects and it's raining, catch a catch a hornet's nest. Just dabbing a hornet's rest, you know? Remember that classic Hollow Knight episode I played? Episode 14? I don't know if it's 14. It's the only thing which comes to mind every time I talk about hornet's nests now for no apparent reason. Um, wow, we're actually getting pretty lucky here. Sorry, flowers. There we go. Swipe. And done. We've done those Nookmar missions, we'll sell this stuff and we'll probably get enough to do the other one as well. And then from there, well, I guess we'll just round the video off and I'll go binge some Potter Popper Power videos for a little bit. Actually, I probably won't. I'll probably just like open up and then watch one of them and then just not watch them again. But yeah, if, I mean, if that's something you watch in your childhood and maybe you had... There you are, random insect. You maybe had a nostalgia trip as me. Like me. Once you saw that they were remastered in 4K as well. Because, I don't know, I guess it's cool. I guess it's kind of cool seeing things being restored. But you knew when you were younger. But often, often 4K upscaling gets, like, done pretty poorly, from what I recall. It often, like, um, we should keep that. Maybe keep that as well. It often leaves, like, weird, like, article effect. Um, sorry, not article. Like, straight lines become, like, really jagged step stepping stone-like lines, which... It's not really what you want, other things. I know, someone someone made a good video on it. Oh, what? We do need to sell them, I forgot. Quick, sell, 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 sell. Diamond hands. <laughs> I sell these giant clams. Just so we can, um... Apparently also Mr. Rose. Just so we can clear out our inventory. The whole reason I was keeping them is, is like, you can, um... Make recipes of them, but uh, we're not making any of those recipes. Who are we kidding? We're here to amass... Nookmar mission points, which we're doing rather well at, I must say. So yeah, I suppose, well that note, I guess we'll round off this episode here. So if you have been watching, thank you very much. It's been Animal Crossing New Horizons. I've been Dear Darling. Likes, comments, subscription, shares are all greatly appreciated. Links down below. I hope we can see each other again, but for now it's our farewell. So until next time. Hmm, what is that mysterious ticking noise? <laughs> bye bye for now.